So do you have one of these garage compartments on the front of your Forest River camper? The ones with these annoying slide outs that stick and take up a lot of room? Well, I've got one too, and I don't much like it. Let's get rid of it. I'd like to thank J-Man and his YouTube channel for the inspiration of doing this modification. On his, Jay actually took and just opened this all up, made it into one big compartment. I think I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna build a compartment on the far end and keep that kind of separate where I can utilize the door and the rest of it will be accessible and I'll still have a partial shelf over here. So uh, well, let's get ahead and start tearing things apart. This top uh, piece of wood here is held in with square headed screws so you need to get a square headed screw remover. We'll just, just pull these all out. I think there's like six or eight of them. After you get the screws all out, then all you got to do is pry the board up. It uh, takes just a little bit of work and then it comes out. You're going to notice pretty quickly that the board doesn't come out the top, so it's got to drop through the access hatch door on the end here. We'll just throw it out here for now. There's four screws that are holding in the bottom tray, so I've already undone those. I'm just got to get this worked out now. And there we go, it's all nice and open. This wall right here went down in front. There's no way to remove this unless you want to take the door off and get a little more room. So I'm going to just cut this in place. I don't want to chop it all the way up because it's got a lot of good wood in here and I'll be using it for uh, building the compartment that I'm going to be putting over on this end here. I've already cut through the board. It wasn't very difficult. And I just have to give that a little snap and I can pull out the sections and a couple of pieces. This is, again, this is still good wood here. I wanna keep some of this for the new compartment. This compartment measures about six feet, 10 inches long. So I'm gonna take that end and I'm gonna make about a two foot compartment coming in and box that all out. So I have outside storage. I can use that for like wheel chocks and, and uh, boards for leveling, things like that. Okay, the new compartment is done. It was very easy to do. I just took this board that was there, ripped it down. I cut a piece that was 24 inches, and then a side piece right here that's 16 and a half inches, notched it out a little bit so it fit around there. And I took the uh, original lid that went on the original container there, and I ripped a piece down to match and just drop that down into place and all set to go. So I still have a shelf that I can utilize and I've got all this storage now that completely goes down to the bottom. I can put lawn chairs and umbrellas and mats and anything else that I have that I need to utilize. So I hope you enjoyed this quick project. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Thanks.